Hi folks, God bless you. It's Jay and uh, I've just given a, another news announcement. I just gave an announcement on one video about mission missionaries coming to be with us uh, tomorrow. But uh, I want to give another announcement. On the 17th of this month, a team of us are going down to Hyde Park. So there'll be a team of us going down to Hyde Park on the 17th, uh, on Sunday, uh, the 17th. So, if you want to join us, though, there's about four of us. If you want to join us down there, uh, let us know, connect with us. Uh, I know one person got in contact from the last time I mentioned it, and I'm going to get back in contact with them. But maybe we could have a short service together. And uh, uh, I don't know, we could uh, do something like have a, a short uh, carol service or something. Uh, and if that's something you, you people feel we should do, all united together, maybe just for 15 minutes, sing a few songs, um, and then just give a short word and a short testimony. Uh, maybe we could all do that together, all the different teams down there. If that's something you, you think is a good idea, let me know. Um, but it'd be good to connect with people down there, so so be down there, all right? People who follow me on, on the internet, um, come down and we could talk and uh, work together uh, and share in the gospel. So, so I'll see you down there. Love everybody down there. Love Bob the Builder. Love Lizzie. Love everybody down there. George, uh, uh, Godwin and Daniel and... Just love everybody down there. So um, we're praying for you. We love you and we're praying for you and we're behind you. And uh, But just letting you know, we're going to be coming down. All right? So, you know, open challenge to the Dawa teams down there. We're coming down. We've got one guy who's a, a, an excellent preacher. He's going to be preaching. Uh, we've got a Mike, brother Mike. He probably want to debate anybody who wants to debate. Uh, we've got Brother Kieran coming, and you want to talk to him, and uh, he, he's a wonderful guy, and he will uh, love to share uh, the gospel with you if you're really interested. If you're a Muslim and you really want to know the gospel rather than argue or debate, you know, Brother Kieran is a guy who, who's caring, and, and you know, he, he, he'd be more than welcome to want to tell you about Jesus, you know. So we've got a good team coming down. Um, we're going to be praying. We're going to go down and be prepared to share the gospel. We want to see people saved. But there's an open invitation to the Dawa teams down there. Uh, if you want to debate, uh, me and Brother Mike are particularly ready for that. Okay? Um, so, I mean, Mohammed Hijab, Paul Williams, um, Hamza. You want to debate? We're ready for you, yeah? So let me know uh, when we get down there. You know, we, we don't want to... Uh, we know you were scared last time. We know that some of you run away. Paul Williams run away when I came down last time. Do you remember I was there on the stepladder? I was uh, preaching and you were offered a debate, Paul, and you ran away. Uh, Adan, one of the most scholarly debaters, ran away. Scared stiff. Um, so we know that you can't hack the heat, but if you do want to debate, we're, we're always willing to facilitate that because we believe that Christianity is the truth and we can answer these questions. And Hamza's book on, on the Gospel of Matthew, that's supposedly coming out. I, I should imagine it'll be a rehash of Bart Uh Well... I mean, I don't find Bart Ehrman a challenge, so I'm willing to, to talk to you about your new book. Tell us what it's about, bro. And uh, if you want to give me a copy, I'll read it for free. And I'll give, it you, I'll give you a review of your book, Hamza. I'll tell you whether it's good scholarship or shoddy scholarship. I should imagine it's pretty not so good scholarship. You've probably taken a lot from Bart Ehrman. Um, so, yeah, so... Get your Dawa teams ready, because uh, the uh, the Manchester crew is coming down, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, take your arguments down like we always do. You never seem to uh, uh, do well when we come down. You always seem to be like flustered. I mean, I mean, remember that time Mohammed Hijab 
there I was, I was standing there, I was talking about, um, what was I talking about? I was talking about Shia and Sonny and he, and, and he smiling away and he, he just didn't want to engage. He didn't want to engage. Didn't want to engage. So, the only person who's got real courage is uh, Mansour and the younger Hamza. Now, Mansour, the younger Hamza's got courage and I suspect, I suspect that the older Hamza has got courage. Uh, he's not cross sword with me yet. But uh, if you want to get it on, guys, if you want to get it on, Hamza older or Hamza younger, you want to get it on, Paul Williams, you want to get it on, here we are. We got the scholarship. Come and, come and take us down. Because we'll show you that Christianity is the truth. We'll do it with grace. We'll do it for, with finesse. We will do it with love. But what we will do is expose your arguments as being false. There's, there's no fear in us. We're not scared of you. We don't think you've got the best arguments. There's absolutely no fear. And we have absolutely confidence that the Christian faith is the truth and that Islam, sad to say, is a pack of lies. So if you want to show us that, we'll be coming down, bro. And uh, we do it with grace. We, we do it with respect and we do it with love. Because we're, we're out there, we're, we're coming down to see people converted. We're coming down to see Muslim people converted. We're not coming down to uh, just rubbish Islam for the sake of Islam in a disrespectful way. No, we, we want to come down and we, will, we, we, we come down with respect. And we expect that in return. We don't expect... Um, we, we, we expect that your standards will be high, that you will be peace, peaceable and, and peace loving. And we expect that. And we'll have people down there with cameras filming to see, to make sure that everything's peaceful. So remember that. And I just want to say, those who have cameras, if you could come down, bring your cameras down and see if these Muslims have got the, the guts to debate or whether they'll run away again, and we'll get that on camera that will show that they ran away, that they won't deal with us, and we'll get that on camera. So bring your cameras down. But if they stand up and be men, and, 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 and stop being cowards, picking on many young Christians that don't know anything, or academic Christians who, sad to say, are not orthodox, easy pickings for these Muslim apologists, but if they get a bit of real courage and they're not going to just pick easy targets because they deep down really can't deal with the arguments. You know, Islam, the, 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 the world will know, the whole world will know when we get down there whether Islam's the truth or not. Because if you run away, it'll be on camera and we'll show you Paul Williams wasn't here to debate. Hamza wasn't here to debate. Mohammed Hibjab was not here to debate. Ali Da was not here to debate. Look, we have it on camera. The Manchester Royal Blood crew came. The team came. Christians came, prepared, ready to debate, ready to answer questions. And look, where have the Muslim apologists gone? They've run and we'll have it on camera. And you'll be exposed for being the coward you are, picking on Christians who don't know the stuff, young Christians who turn up at Hyde Park and they don't know the stuff and you pick it on, on there. And we'll say, look, we're the ones that have prepared ourselves, we've come down to, to de deal with you and you, you can't deal with us, you've run away. But if you have the guts to come and debate, then make no bones about it, you're going to be running away with the tail between your legs because you, you just haven't got good scholarship. Uh, you're rehashing old arguments, old liberal arguments that you borrowed from uh, liberal scholars. And you, you get a few from Orthodox, Evangelical Orthodox, just to cherry pick it and pepper up your little arguments. But generally speaking, all you're doing is you're rehashing old liberal arguments, like uh, the... the, the Paul did not teach what Jesus taught. 
that's all liberalism, you know. Evangelical scholars answered these many, many years ago, but the general public don't know that you're rehashing these old arguments uh, from old, uh, old liberal scholars. So we, we can deal with what you've got to, to say. And um, just to say that also there's an, a, a debate organised by Yahya uh, Snow. Uh, Yahya Snow, a Muslim apologist, is, has given me a date. It's on the 18th of December. I'm going to be debating a Muslim apologist professionally. And uh, I can't give you the details more than that. So patch in the 18th of December. There's going to be a, a public debate with a really good debate, a Muslim apologist debater, and a debater who's professional and conducts themselves in a, in a loving, gracious way. Uh, and that debate will be on the 18th. It'll be in the evening, so pencil it in. I, I, I promise Yahya Snow I wouldn't give the details away, so I can't give the details away. I can't give you who it is and the topic but it'll be announced maybe two days before but pencil it in now there's going to be a debate when I get back from Hyde Park with a very good Muslim apologist debater and I look forward to that and I appreciate the integrity of Yahya Snow uh, organizing this debate because as he said this this Muslim apologist that he wants to do it he wants to do debates in a professional, um, friendly environment way. And, and that's the way we want to conduct ourselves when we get down to Hyde Park. We want to conduct ourselves professionally in our debate. So if you want to debate with us, Paul Williams, or if you want to debate with us, Hamza, you want to debate with us, Mansour, I will be going, going down there and I will be preparing myself to debate on the resurrection of Christ and on the textual veracity and historical veracity of the Quran. Okay, that's what I'll be preparing myself when I go down there. So if you want to engage in an academic discussion and debate when I get down there, pull me aside and we'll have a fair, honest academic debate on those two topics. Okay? And if Mike wants to chip in, he can chip in as well. Uh, so, that's the resurrection of Christ and the textual and historical veracity of the Quran. So you have the opportunity to go and prepare yourselves for the debate. Okay, and I'm willing to debate all through the day. Young Hamza, old Hamza, uh, Muhammad Hijab, uh, Paul Williams. If you want to, you don't have to, so don't worry about it. You don't have to but the offer's there. But we're not going down there uh, like a pack of wolves. We're going down there as professional Christian servants who, who are serving the Lord, preaching the gospel, talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, but there'll be one or two of us prepared to debate professionally some of your debaters if you want the debate. So the Manchester crew, the Royal Blood Ministries crew, are coming down on the 17th so it's up to you guys if you want to engage with us we're there if you don't want to engage with us it proves without a shadow of a doubt the agenda at Hyde Park by the Dower teams is to win no matter what so the way they win is they don't pick on the professionals they pick on those who just turn up young Christians who don't know what they're doing and they're just expo they're exposing Islam to be the weak, uh, the weaker uh, faith, uh, the weaker position because they they won't debate the strongest arguments of the best scholarship, and those who have actually prepared themselves in a professional way to tackle their arguments. Okay, so thank you for listening and God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget, check out my website, jasonbirdspreacher.com. We love you Muslims. We love you all. Uh, we really do. And uh, we just long that you come to know the Lord. We long for you Muslim apologists to come to know the Lord. And you know what? 
we, we really do. We really, we, we really want you to come to know the Lord. So God bless you and love to everybody down there. God bless you. Take care. God bless.